Hey everyone and welcome back to the programming fields. I am Umesh Rana. In the last video of Laravel 11 series, we saw how we can manage multiple authentication system in Laravel 11 using bridge package. In that, we had managed multiple authentication system for super admin, admin and normal user. But today, we are focusing on a very important aspect of any Laravel 11 project that is backups. Data loss can be destructive. So, having a reliable backup strategy is essential for your Laravel or any web application. In this video, we will walk you through using the Laravel backup library. This is a very powerful tool that helps automate backups and keep your project safe in Laravel 11. But before moving ahead, let's understand why you need backups. Let's imagine you are working on an awesome Laravel 11 application. You have invested tons of time and efforts, then boom, your server got crashed or you accidentally delete something important. Without backups, all that hard work vanishes. So backups are like a safety net for your web application. They create a copy of everything so you can restore it if disaster strikes. So basically they create a copy of your project data so you can restore it in case of emergencies. Whether it is a server mail function, accidental deletion or even a security breach, having a backup ensures you can recover quickly and minimize downtime. There are several methods to backup your projects. You can backup it manually or you can use any tool or third party library. In case if you are going to backup your project manually, then you can use tools like MySQL dump to export your database, then compress your code base with tool like tar or zip. However, this manual approach can be time consuming and error prone. That's where the Laravel backup library comes in. Now we will talk about Laravel backup library. So basically the Laravel backup library is a fantastic tool specifically designed to simplify the backup process in Laravel application. It offers several advantages such as automation, flexibility, storage options, compression, rotation, etc. So in this video, we will see these advantages of using this Laravel backup library. So let's get started with securing your Laravel 11 projects. So I already have one Laravel application set up. First thing first, we will have to install Laravel Spassy package for Laravel backup. So let's check out the documentation first. So I will search Laravel Spassy. So at the very first, we have this official website of this Laravel Spassy. So let's click on this. And under this docs option, we have different documentation based on the different packages. So Laravel Spassy provides different packages just like Laravel PDF, Lighthouse, Laravel Prometheus, Translatable, Comments, Laravel Health and this Laravel Backup. So let's click on this and yes, we have the documentation of this Laravel Spassy for Laravel Backup. So in the introduction part, we can see this written, this Laravel package creates a backup of your application. So basically this will generate a zip file that will contain all the files and directories of your application and also it will include the database dump and we can store this backup in any file system or in the local all right so the installation is very easy so firstly we will have to install this package in our application so let's click on this installation and setup part so here we have this installation command let's copy and come back to the project folder and inside this terminal, let's add it. Let's hit enter. This will take a couple of seconds to install this package and its related dependencies. Yes, so the package has been installed. Let's come back to the project folder. And inside this composer.json file, we can see we have the spacey Laravel backup. All right. Now let's visit the documentation again. Now in the next step, we will have to publish the configuration of this Spassy package. So as of now in the Laravel 11 application, if we will check to the config folder, then we have the default configurations related to this application. So let's copy this vendor publish command and let's add it to the terminal. Yes, so it published this configuration backup.php and language folder inside this vendor. All right. Let's come back to the project folder and inside this config, we can see we have this backup.php file and inside this backup.php file, we have the application name as Laravel backup. This will generate the name and under the source array, we have the files. So this will include this base path. So this base path 
conclude this entire application and its related files all right and uh, also we have this exclude array so if you want to exclude any specific files then we can mention that file or folder name so by default it added this vendor and node modules folder so as of now in the laravel application we can see we have the vendor folder here so in the backup this vendor folder will not be included and also we have this follow links so basically this follow links represents the symbolic link just like we have this storage folder so when we run php artisan storage link command just like php artisan storage link then by default it connects this storage to to the public folder so if we will keep this follow links to false then that storage folder won't included inside this if we scroll down then we can see we have the database dump also we can exclude in a specific tables from being backup we can connect to different database so as of now we can see we have the mysql connected inside this but in my application i have this database connection as sqlite all right so i will change this to sqlite first databases to sqlite and if we scroll down and this disks will be local so by default when this will create the backup this will be stored inside this local folders also we can configure the s3 bucket or any other storage disk to keep the backup of your application and here we can see we have this temporary directory and uh, basically this will generate this backup inside this a uh, storage path so basically we have this a uh, storage path and inside this we have this app so when we will generate this backup this will create a temporary directory as backup dash temp and this will store the entire backup inside that directory we can set the archive password for unzipping the backup files and here we have this notification sections also so when this backup process will execute this will send the notification so we can receive the notification to email slack any webhook url just like discord all right so this will keep updated with notification for any kind of updates uh, for any backup failure just like we have the different notification system failed notification backup was found success all right under this database option we can connect to the different database as well so if we want to include different database backup then we can change that to here so as of now i have changed this to sqlite by default it was for mysql so we can see we have this option to connect with mysql postgres sql sqlite and mongo database so now let's proceed the further backup process let's come back to the documentation again and we have discussed this entire configuration things now under the documentation we have this taking backups events so let's click on this and at the very first step we have this php artisan backup run command so let's copy let's come back to the terminal and paste it here let's hit enter and yes we can see this generated the backup of the entire application and it is stored in the local disk so if we will check out to the project folder then inside this storage app we can see it created this backup temp folder and inside this storage app we have the laravel folder as well so if we'll expand this laravel folder then we can see it generated this .zip file of the backup file all right so i will open this in the finder and yes we can see we have this zip file so let's extract this folder and we have this file inside this we have this db dumps and this is basically sqlite and also we have this users folder and inside this we have this desktop laravel 10 to application and yes we have this auth app application backup all right so we have the backup ready now let's come back to the documentation again and if we will dig inside this then we can see we have the next command php artisan backup run so we can specify the disk where we can store the backup also we can take a backup of only database so we can pass this flag only db if we want to skip the database backup then we can pass this flag as only files 
So basically, this will take a backup of your Laravel application only. And here we can see we have the file system configuration. So under the disk options, we can configure the S3 bucket. So if we want to keep our backup additionally on the different storage, then we can configure that as well. So we can find this configuration inside this config backup.php as we already discussed here. Just like instead of local, we can configure here S3. Alright. As of now, we have taken backup manually, but we can make it automate by scheduling this backup process. So for that, we will have to create a scheduler and we can set the backup process at a specific time at what time we want to set the backup of our application. And uh, along with the config, it published this lang folder. So basically this is language and it supports different languages for the backup. And the good thing is it supports Hindi as well. Inside this HI, we can see we have this Hindi. So it supports different languages for the backups. There are some additional tips for securing your Laravel 11 project. Test your backups regularly. Restore a backup to a test environment to ensure the rotation process works perfectly. Always consider version control system. So by using Git or code management alongside backups provides an extra layer of protection for your project code base. While the core functionality of the Laravel backups library remain consistent across Laravel version, it is always a good practice to refer to the library's documentation for any Laravel 11 specific consideration or potential updates to configuration options. By implementing automated backups with Laravel backup library, you are adding an important layer of security of your application. Remember, data loss can be destructive, so take proactive steps to safeguard your application. If you found this video helpful, consider subscribing for more Laravel tutorials like this. Also, leave a comment below if you have any questions related to this. And let me know what other Laravel topics you would like to see covered in the future videos. So stay tuned with programming fields and I will see you in the next video. Until then, happy coding.